Hafra House Chicago is the first and only German microbrewery restaurant and beer hall in the Chicago area. And here with what you should order up for dinner, please welcome Chef Stephen Gill. Hi, Chef. Hi, thank you. So nice to meet thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having so me. So tell me what the Hafra House has going on for the holidays. Uh, well, we have the Kendall Fest going December 17th. And then on Sundays, we have a lot of stuff for kids. And uh, every weekend, we have a keg tapping. It's a very festival with all the ice skating. And it's a lot of fun out there. Right. And you guys are only one of seven Hafra Houses in the U.S. US? Yes, we are a very big, uh, very busy operation. Uh, we just got through Oktoberfest, and uh, make sure you make reservations and come see me. Okay, so what will happen? What, what will people experience when they come to the restaurant? Oh, they are a, a large volume of people. Uh, this last past Saturday, we just had over 2,000 covers. Wow, and it's, it's a very, big restaurant. Big restaurant. Yeah. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, beers that we brew at the Hopper House, and we just have a lot of activities constantly. Okay, and what what are you fixing for us today? Because this is something that someone could order off the menu there, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to do the basic basic wiener schnitzel. Uh, you can just buy a regular pork loin. Pork uh, loin, okay. And you can do this with chicken or you can do it with steak or whatever. Uh -huh. But you just, whatever medallions you want to cut, okay. you'll cut it in half. Oh, that looks good. And then you, whatever size you want. Yeah. You know, then you'll butterfly it. Okay. And once it get butterfly, you'll open. See Look that at there, yeah, it makes it nice and flat. And then I have one right here as well. Okay. So we just pound it up. Well, we got to beat that meat. I like them, but can I do that? Can I, can I please? Mm -hmm. I got some aggression I need to get out. <laughs> I like to, oh wait, was I supposed to beat with this yeah, side? You're, you're tenderizing it. Exactly I like right. my meat tender. And then you can do any color size that you want. And then as we uh, pound it out, uh, okay. you see Gabby over here, she's flouring it. Is that egg? Uh, it's egg, it's okay. seasoned flour, egg, and it's fine breadcrumbs. I really don't season the meat, I season the oh, flour yes, so it's yes, yes, consistent yes. all the way across right. because some people put a little more salt, a little more pepper. Right. And then also after we bread it, uh, we have a, a simple technique that we use. Okay. Which I wish everyone do this at home. Okay. Anytime you're dealing with grease, I always put the schnitzel away from you. Okay. Just in all case right. if you splash, you won't hurt anyone of that caliber. Sounds good. Well, while that's frying up, we're going to send it over to Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. Well, hey, you know, you can't forget about the dessert. And here with uh, what his restaurant is serving up, a sweet treat. Please welcome Kings and Dining Entertainment GM Nicholas Rovi. <laughs> Nicholas. Well, you? Now, of course, you can get the fine dining upscale meals, but also some great desserts. I know you're in the gym a lot. I, I actually know Nicholas. <laughs> He's in the gym constantly, but that means you can burn off the calories to have right. a dessert. Especially the dessert. It's really good. You can make it at home. It's very simple to make. You can yeah. the recipe online, but you know, you can also come into, you know, King's Dining Entertainment and get it there too. We'll have it ready for you All if right. you want it and stuff. It's uh, peanut butter, uh, peanut butter cups, uh, cream cheese, salt, sugar, and vanilla. All healthy stuff all, for the All holidays. very healthy stuff for yes. the holidays. And you're going to take that and mix it all together. You don't want to whip it too much. And you put it on. And then you're going to, after it chills for an hour, you're going to have this. And you come out and you're going to make a okay. one-ounce ball. All right. That you put together. And then once you do that, it chill. You're going to let that chill. Okay. You're going to roll it in. Roll it in your sprinkles there. You roll it in your sprinkles there. Yep. You gotta see this. All right. And, uh, and as you're doing that, tell us about the draft room renovations because the last time I was there, I was bowling, remember? Right. And then I went over and you were showing me all of the renovations. Right. The draft room renovation just opened about two, three weeks ago. What is it? It's an upscale sports bar for the next generation. All right. It's Sounds the, good. It's the ultimate view, sports viewing experience. You can three 14 foot televisions, HD, LD screens, uh, along with the 20 amp sound system. It's pretty amazing. All right. We're going to let you wrap that up. You've got to go check out the draft room. All right, Chef Steven, Jason, thank you guys so much. And Nicholas, of course, thanks for being here. We'll be right back.